One plus one isn't necessarily two. Sometimes it's more like 20,000. We'll get to that. First, meet Pippa and Ron Seacrest. They're a creative team and they're in love. Together, they created Miami Ad School, the six-time winner of Can School of the Year and the open door that's helped a generation of young creatives take over the world. At this point, Pippa and Ron's students have won more gold in awards than Pippa and Ron weigh. That can't be true. It is, we did the math. And all those awards are evidence of how quickly a little creativity can multiply. Back in 1987, Pippa met Ron when she was a student at Portfolio Center, the school he founded, the first portfolio school in the world. The day after Pippa graduated, Ron passed her a note. When I realized that he was serious, I asked, do you need a lunch first? So they got sushi. And it must have gone well because 35 years later, they're still a dynamic duo. At first, they had a design company that was doing well, but Pippa knew something was off. Ron wasn't happy doing what we were doing, and I knew we needed to start another school. So, they took a big leap. When 1993, they started an advertising and design school in Miami. They launched with just six students. A taxi driver, a flight attendant, an aspiring artist, a ballerina, and the two daughters of a creative director at Leo Burnett. In short, it was a school for misfits, or young people with the wildest and the craziest ideas. That meant student work that was like nowhere else on earth. Instructors were industry professionals, and the products they did were for real clients. All based on the principles of real practice, which meant students created work that both won huge awards and got global media attention while they were still in school. Our motto was, you learn by doing. That meant Pippa and Ron brought in guest instructors from all over the world to share new ideas with the students. And then they thought bigger. Instead of just bringing the great thinkers to the students, we started sending the students to where the great thinkers are. So Miami Ad School partnered with dozens of companies all over the world in a new concept that allowed each student to create their own unique educational odyssey. So they could study and intern in multiple cities all over the planet. And as a result, many of Pippa and Ron's connections, impressed by the students and the school concept, asked if they could start a Miami Ad School in their own city. And that single school that Pippa and Ron started grew into a global network of 15 schools around the world. Those schools were a hub for exploration and collaboration, and the site of a weekly Sunday soccer game. The rule was... Everyone could play. And that rule applied in the classroom as well. Ron and Pippa didn't want a school filled with people who looked just like them. They wanted a school that was filled with people of different backgrounds, experiences, and points of view. That's why they made it a mission to recruit those diverse voices. And as a result, among other things, helped to nearly triple the enrollment of students of color at MAD campuses around the world. And the results are a testament to the power of diversity and inclusion. For 30 years now, MAD grads have created some of the world's most innovative and exciting work. In total, more than 20,000 MAD graduates have created amazing ideas for companies all over the world. 20,000 misfits who found themselves in the home that Ron and Pippa made. And that's why one plus one doesn't equal two. In this case, it equals 20,000, and hopefully, a whole lot more. <laughs>